Hello Inky Instruments, today I finally decided to open my Jazz's Ultimate Creativity Collection and specifically I opened the Jazz's Incredible Inky Box. And oh, it's been a literal year since I got it and I finally opened it. So if you want to support me in the journey of opening a box, please subscribe. It, it's only one click and it helps out the channel so much. Now enjoy the video. Jazz's Ultimate Creativity Collection. So today I will be reviewing Jazz's Incredible Inky Box. Alright, let's open it. Alright, this is the first thing you see in the box. Um, I've opened it, definitely. So first I got the book. It's a pretty good book. The reason I decided to open this box first is because I am doing Inktober in like only two days, I believe, until October starts. If you're not sure what Inktober is, it's an art challenge. And it's for artists to draw every single day of the month October in ink pens or just anything inky. So that's why I've opened this box because I want to prepare myself for Inktober and I'm going to have a lot of ink products in here and I might even use this book for Inktober. Now looking at this book, if I open it, you can see that I've actually used it before. I have never used the ink products in this art box before, like just in any other quantity. So I ended up making it very, um, messy, you could say. Yeah, but this, this is my first attempt on the first page and I am very unhappy I've ruined this art. <laughs> I've ruined it. I've ruined this art book. I'm actually just kidding guys, this this artwork is so amazing, I can't believe I was saying so many bad things about it before, but this artwork is just a masterpiece and it should be shown in every museum ever. Now we have some calligraphy pens, I believe. This is Jazz's Deluxe Writing Collection. So here's Jazz's face, it's very cool. Uh, this box has just like got so many cool things, the entire box does. That calligraphy pen, it's so nice. If I knew how to use it, it would be, and I remember using it before and being like, oh, this is so nice. If only I was good at it. And we also have the guide booklet of Jazz's incredible inky box. It's just got some like instructions and things and ways you can use it. Oh, and here we have another sketchbook type thing, except it's not a sketchbook. It's actually got the grid layout, and this is very good for practicing calligraphy. Oh, and here we have a bunch of this like glossy paper. It's called Durabrite. And here we have these elegant writer pens, if you can see it right there. These are elegant writer pens. And this is what it looks like. I'm pretty sure they're just like chisel tip type things. We got some paint brushes too. I kept these things on them, but I think I might have used them before. I'm not sure. But yeah, they're really good quality. We also have all these different jars of um, paint and ink and all stuff like that too. And they're really cool. Now, let's get on to the artwork. So as you can see here, I've just begun sketching just with a general pencil, so I'm not using any of the ink box yet. This character was a character I made on my Instagram at Artman Express, so if you want to check him out, he's there. This is where I finally start going in with the calligraphy pen, and it's looking good so far, but at the end, it looks like a mess, you'll see. <laughs>
I'm gonna be honest here, I have no clue how to use ink properly, as in calligraphy pens and just like painting ink on, but I have tried and tried again and I feel like I'm trying, I'm like, I'm starting to learn. I've played into the messiness of this drawing by just like adding a bunch of darkness and stuff like that to the drawing. So that's the drawing finished guys. If you want to see me complete Inktober, check out my Instagram to see daily posts and check out my Twitch to see daily live streams of me drawing the Inktober posts. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Peace.